I was told to visit you two if I was seeking help. Well, it depends on the job and the pay, partner. Two gold bars. That's all my lecture all can pull together. Two gold bars? Whoa there. What exactly is this job? Cecil Wilcox. Ever heard of him? He's that dashingly professor who's been terrorizing students ever since his tenure. He's planning on bailing the entire class with the final. And we were hoping you could stop it for us. We'll do it, but we can't accept that paper. Instead, we'll take two large Arizona ass tees. What? <laughs> that is a done deal, partner. Well, tickle my boots and call me the UCI foot peeper. We might just pass this class. All right, gentlemen, well, let's head on out. Right there, you bottoms. Howdy. We're Cecil's TA Posse, and we overheard you cattle flies and your little plan. Yeah? So what are you bunch of hog liggers going to do about it? That's mighty big talk for having such a big price on your head. <laughs> and we have you outnumbered six to three, and I reckon that fellow there ain't even armed. You're right. Uh. Obi, this ain't good, partner. Last time I was shot in the ass, I nearly died of cholera. Don't worry, partner. I'm a better doctor than any of these useless city slicking bio majors ever could be. Uh. But back to the job. We are sorely outnumbered. Just like them boys back at the Alamo. We need them. Not them. Them. There they are. The few cannons. What in the hell are they doing over there? Is he flipping a knife? Looks mighty dangerous. Might just be the kind of crazy we need to beat the Cecil fella. My, my, Evelyn. Anyone ever tell you you ain't like milk? Well, well, well. My name Opadiah Miller and Bowman Connolly. Two sons of bitches that ran away with our stolen financial aid bonds. Evelyn Buchanan, you mug-covered rat. You know damn well we did that high school those townspeople. Tuition ain't gonna pay itself now, is it? Well, either way, it's real bold of you to show your face around these parts again. <laughs> Listen, son, I've knocked that guano-licking grin right off your face. But we need your help. Well, surprise, surprise. We knew you were coming because we're in Cecil's lecture. Yeah, and I'm tired of Cecil and his slick back hair having ass giving us F's on these simple midterms. And now final, to fail us all, who does he think he is? I don't know, Vern. I'm doing mighty fine. F, think about it. We've been together since the beginning. We could save the townspeople, just like old times. Just like how Eli would've wanted. Eli, that's a name I haven't heard since that bus at financial aid. He's right, Ev. Eli wouldn't want to see us bickering like some roosters in a cockfight. Now would he? Well, hot damn. All right, for old Tom's sakes. He has to start green's midterm tomorrow. Woo-wee! Looks like we got the posse back together for this here job. yee -ha! There are only six of them.
Why, thank you, Miss Buchan, for bringing me these here acorn calves. Evelyn, what in tarnation are you doing? You can't possibly be siding with this yellow belly newt, can you? Vern, listen to me. All we've ever been doing is running, gunning, and stealing. Ain't you tired of this? Cecil said he'd get us out of this here hole we dug ourselves into. We could have that ranch Ma and Pa always dreamt of having with us. Ma and Pa would not want this! Now I'm not one for family quarrels, but I'll tell you what. I don't like how you stinking rats even had the gumption to conceive a plot to take me down. This here is my town, and I'll do whatever the hell I want with it. Uh, boss, we couldn't quite tie him up. Well, that's mighty unfortunate. But what's even more unfortunate is this. I run this fucking town. From parking to financial aid, I own it all. You might as well call me the law. And as for you, gentlemen, well, it looks like the vultures are eating good tonight. <laughs> well, bet, partner. Is that all? He's a good man, Ev. Best of us. He's with Eli now. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> 